I don't know why, but nobody wants to take a dump in school. Everyone acts like they never taken a shit on their life. Like if they have a holy asshole or something like that. Anyways, this is a story of when I really needed to take a shit in school, but everything just went crazy wrong that day. My way to avoid taking a crap in school was actually pretty simple. I just don't eat. And if I did have breakfast, I would wait till the bell rings, then I would hide somewhere for around 10 to 15 minutes, and then I would go to the furthest restroom in the school. This was actually the best way to take a crap and make sure that nobody knows about it. So one day, as soon as I get to school, I really need to take a crap, like really, really bad. So I follow my usual strategy, I wait around 10 to 15 minutes after the bell rings and then I run to the furthest restroom in the school. I've done this so many times, I figured nothing can go wrong, you know. As I'm heading there at a pretty fast pace, almost running, I see the principal. So I go to plan B. I find the nearest exit and then I have to go all the way around the school. The principal doesn't see me, which is good. But it takes me a little while longer to go around and by now, I can feel the crap calling my name. I'm starting to get a little desperate as I'm getting closer to the restroom and I'm walking a little funny and I'm starting to sweat. So I rush in there, I do a quick look around to see if anybody's in there. It seems clear so I just start heading towards my favorite stall. I bust that shit open with my shoulder. Then I see the most horrendous thing ever. One of my classmates is in there in a very awkward position. I mean how can I put this into words? This guy was squatting holding some toilet paper in his hand about to wipe his ass. I mean, you can't really imagine these things are ever going to happen to you, so when they do happen, you just don't know what to do. So my response to this, it was just, I froze. I just stood there, and I froze. I don't know why, <laughs> till this day, <laughs> but that's what I did. <laughs> I just completely became paralyzed for what seemed forever. I don't know why, like I said, I just, I just walked in there. And I saw him in this really awkward position. I remember him looking at me straight into my eyes. <laughs> and he also froze. Like he just completely froze and looked at me and kept looking. <laughs> His eyes were like looking down, up, down. Because I guess I was holding my stomach, you know. I, was, I really wanted to take a shit. <laughs> After what appeared to be a very long time. Which maybe it was just a few seconds. But I do clearly remember... <laughs> standing there looking at this guy about to wipe his ass for a very long time <laughs> nobody said anything <laughs> that's the most crazy thing and every time i remember this i just can't stop laughing because we both <laughs> didn't say a word i mean i would see this guy in class like i said his name or i don't remember his name but his nickname we everybody used to call him ginger after this very weird incident that me and Ginger had, we never ever talked again. I don't know why. We never even said hi. We had two remaining years of high school. We didn't talk at all. We wouldn't even look at each other. When we did cross paths together, he would look the other way and I would look the other way. And I just don't know why we never talked about it. <laughs> I mean, I hope Ginger never comes across this video, but if he does, I just want to say this. I know it's been 10 years, uh, I'm sorry Ginger for walking up on your ass, I mean that was pretty embarrassing, I should have apologized, but I never did, I don't know why, and you never ever talked to me again, because, I don't know, I guess you were too embarrassed that I saw your ass, <laughs> and for that, I am sorry Ginger, but I still hope I never get to see you again, man, especially while you're taking a shit, ain't nobody wanna see that shit. Well, alright guys, let me know what's your most embarrassing, awkward story that you have walked into. Put it in the comments below. Well, be sure to leave a like on this video, guys. Subscribe and bell me. I want to annoy the hell out of you guys with my videos. Remember to lock your doors when you're taking a crap, guys. Peace out. This is Spartan.